Hello, and welcome back to the four-part video series. This is uh, the fourth video of four, and once again, my name is Connor Stevenson. Uh, I just wanted to start this video off by thanking everyone for sticking around and, and watching all four videos and watching this long. Um, I also wanted to thank Dr. Z and our TA for helping me improve my writing skills and uh, helping me learn so much about this great subject. Um, so without further ado, here's the fourth and final video and it's going to be about the change in society and how it helped Impressionism as a movement. So uh, what's important here I think to start is to talk about Paris as a city. So Paris is located in France if you didn't know and um, at the turn of the century uh, it was the third most populated city on earth uh, just coming in just behind New York and London, uh, London being the most populated. Uh, so in 1889, Paris hosted a World's Fair, and this is where the Eiffel Tower came from. Uh, it was to exhibit in this World Fair. And uh, I'll put a picture on the screen here. Uh, it's an interesting picture I found, and I felt like it was worth sharing. Uh, it just shows basically the, uh, the buildup of the Eiffel Tower from 1887 to 1889. So uh, I personally do not live in the city city like, uh, like a big city. I'm from the Dallas area, so I, I don't know much about modern life as far as in 2018. But I know with modernity become, or comes change and uh, things become... Uh, a lot more modernized than they were previously and this normally happens with urbanization when people are moving towards the cities and it's taking up a large part of the population and this is important uh, in Paris because a lot of people were moving from the countryside to the city because of uh, how big the city was. Another thing worth noting kind of why they moved to the city is because of the Industrial Revolution so if you don't know what the Industrial Revolution is it's just where things became uh, more industrialized and uh, uh, large-scale production was a, a big thing and uh, people think to be produced on greater scales so this helped boost the economy of, of a lot of World Series cities and it gave Paris a lot of exposure um, and it gave it a population boom, like I said before so Paris was growing so society changes and art changed as well uh, one important thing about Impressionists is that they always seem to paint what was around them. For example, I'll put on the screen here uh, a picture of Monet's haystacks, one of my favorite uh, pieces done by him. And uh, Monet lived in the countryside, so this is what he saw a lot of. He saw a lot of haystacks, so that's what he painted. Uh, another thing important, uh, important worth noting is uh, that Napoleon III had uh, many buildings in Paris torn down and rebuilt to make it a more modern city and with many new buildings a lot of impressionists like Pissarro and Calibot, I, I really have a hard time saying his name uh, they were they were tasked to decorate the city kind of uh, and paint some of the buildings and uh, this is like the pivotal moment in, in uh, just impressionism or one of the most pivotal moments because uh, of the exposure they gained from this uh, they kind of got their foot in the door with this and uh, people could finally see the work they were doing and they gained a lot of popularity and this is exactly uh, what happened they gained a ton of popularity so now the impressionists had exposure and they could get uh, they couldn't get the things they couldn't get in the salon were now widely way more widely accepted um, and they finally found their niche uh, like people like Degas and Kelly Bot focused on painting people uh, at the, in the working place, like singers and dancers, which I'll put uh, his picture of the ballet class, uh, Degas's picture of the ballet class on the screen here, and um, people like Morissette and, and Cassatt painted things like uh, theatrical entertainment, which uh, I'll put her picture up here. Uh, this is one of the ones we saw in class, and it was really interesting because you can see the guy in the background kind of looking at her while she's looking at something else, so it's kind of mysterious and uh, now that the impressions had this platform they were finally recognized and 
throughout all the disarray, like I talked about in the last video, uh, they gained a lot of popularity, and this helped their movement tremendously. So, uh, I just wanted to thank everyone again for sticking around this long, for watching me talk to the camera and see my, my pictures I found for this long, and uh, I'm glad I could bring it to you in this form. I really, really enjoy talking about Impressionism, and it really interests me, all the things that go into it. So once again, I just wanted to thank Dr. Z and RTA, and for a really fun and challenging semester, you've helped me a whole lot. So again, thank you so much, and I'll see you later.